So I'm going to start this off just by saying that this video will contain some strong language and possibly some offensive material related to religion. So if you're offended by such things, don't bother watching it. But if you do, then carry on watching. Okay? Um, I put my phone and everything's on silent, so it's just me and you and the YouTube comment section. Because as you know, uh, two days ago I uploaded a video about uh, civil uh, gay rights for marriage and stuff. And I'm quite overwhelmed because when I first put it up, like an hour later, there's like seven comments, I was like, oh that's exciting, but I was playing Diablo, so I just carried on. And then later on, uh, about two hours later, it had like 54 comments, and I was like, oh okay, let's read these. So I read through them, most of them, and for the people that did read the comments, and I suggest you do go back to that video and read the comments, and it could be at the end of the video. Because this one guy, his name is Gay is Treason, and he is the epitome of what I can't stand about religion. So this is where I'm going to start off now, okay? So, his first comment that I saw uh, says this. Sexual immoral... Uh, sorry, he's got really bad English, so it's going to be hard to read. Sexual immorally means homosexuality, bestiality, incest, prostitution, porn, paedophile, molesters, film, sexual scenes, and adultery. Homosexuality is the only one which is immoral and unnatural. So, straight from the bat, okay, he's saying that gay people are worse than fucking people who fuck cows and people who where else oh yeah people that like fuck their son or people that rape kids or women and all that he's saying gays are worse than these people and I'm just saying to you as soon as I read this I was just like oh okay this guy is a total cunt blatantly is just a cunt and then he goes on to saying the foundation of humanity was clearly calculated and created by God a man and a woman get married and having kids, and then the kids get married to have other kids, and so on. God hates the destruction of his basic values. Plus, gay's movement is derived from the devil's textbook. It is a sign of time. That part makes no sense to me. But what he's saying is that God created this little plan, so men and women go, mm, babies, and then the babies have babies, and then they fuck each other. So he's saying, right? He's saying incest is wrong in the comment above. But then he's saying, their incest is fine, as long as you have a baby. That's flawed logic straight away. But then, he goes on then, because like, this video has now got like 86 comments or something, and probably like 70 from him. And then the next one was like, Romans 1, 26, 27. For this reason, God gave them up to dishonorable passions, for their women exchanged natural relations for those that are contrary to nature, and the men likewise gave up natural relations with women and were consumed with passion for one another. Men committing shameless acts with men and receiving in themselves their due penalty for their error. So, from this comment, I was like, ah, oh, okay. He's a Bible basher. Great. I'm not going to be able to talk to him. Because what I've understood from religious people, especially these zealot, bigoted, stupid, retarded pricks like him, uh, is you can't have a discussion with them because their fucking random numbers are low, so it's just a total waste of time. And then he goes on to say homosexuality is immoral, and every comment is pretty much saying the same thing. Gay people are just disgusting, and like it's 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 better to rape your child than to be gay. That's what he's saying basically, and that makes no sense to me. I mean, what's a bisexual to him? I mean, homosexuals are evil. Straight people are cool. So what's a bisexual? Are we just like... Am I like a fucking... Prodigy of... Evil and goodness combined into some kind of... Unnatural... Rift in dimensions or some shit. Like, what the fuck is he saying? And then he goes on saying, God creates and then the powerless humans start destroying what God created. It is a perfect right... That makes sense. That he will destroy those who destroy what he created. So, right, this is why I understand of the Bible, okay? God made everything in six days or seven months or whatever different Bible part says how long it took. So God created everything. God created the zealot. God created me. God created the fact that men can get pleasure from having a dick up their ass. Why would God create such things? And then they say, oh, it's the devil's fault. God created the devil. So God wanted this to happen. 
right? And I don't want to offend religious people out there, because as I've said a long, lot of times before, I love, like, people who have faith, that's cool as fuck. But when, like, my belief is you have people with faith and you have people with religion. The people with faith are free and they're generally peaceful and kind. And they just do their own thing. Leave everyone else to do their own thing, which is perfect. That's that's the mentality every person should have. You shouldn't be getting up in people's business about what they're doing. Especially with the dicks. Or the vagina. Or wherever. I just said vagina, that sounds weird. Wherever, anyway. So, you've got people with faith. They're cool. Regardless of what relig- uh, what I don't want to say, I don't want to say religion. Cause I'm just gonna contradict what I say. So you got people with faith, and they believe in wherever they believe. They've got their own god, or perhaps they haven't even got a god. Perhaps they're like nature people, and they may believe in god and the goddess, or just nature itself. I won't go into where I believe. And then you've got people with religion, which is more of an organization of faith, which means someone is controlling what they believe, like this guy. And I want to know what religion this twat belongs to because the way he speaks, I'm like he's got really bad English, and he says English is his seventh language or something. So I was drawn to like he's either West Borough Baptist Church, which as everyone knows is just plain fucking evil, or he's from some backwater country where, like you know, like fucking the Middle East or Africa or something where everything's. Ooh, bad but it pisses me off because as you troll through the comments and please do go to this video at the end and read them because the, the shit he comes out with is just constant bible throwing quotes at me and the things he says contradicts himself anyway he's like homosexual he's wrong blah, 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 blah. and then he goes on to say other stuff like oh he, I just read something actually homosexuality is two times mentioned in Jude 1 7 the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, first in sexual immorality, blah 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 blah. There is nothing sexually immoral, there's nothing more sexually immoral than homosexuality. As I said, fucking kids and animals and stuff is perfectly fine, as long as you're not gay. Then homosexuality is mentioned again in pursuit and natural desires. Cool beans. So, I'm just really fucking confused. Because I had to try and keep a professional brain on when I was reading these comments. I was like, okay, I can't call him a blatant cunt. Because that wouldn't look good on myself to anyone else that comes to the video. But then it got to a point after like 70 comments from him spouting out all this bullshit. Throwing random numbers. Matthew 19, 4, Genesis 1, 23, John 5, blah, 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 Acts, blah, blah, blah. Hosea, blah, 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 Timothy, blah, 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 Romans, blah, blah, blah. Like, how many bullshit quotes does he need to throw? And he's saying, like, sexual, uh, homosexuality and all that's immoral and blah, blah, blah. But, like, it's scientifically proven, and you just have to look at nature to see this for yourself. Homosexuality has existed for a very, very long time, predating religion, because, what was it, like, Greeks and stuff, they had the women to have babies with, because procreation was needed, and it is needed. Well, technically, not so much, no, because the world's so popular, don't but whatever. So the Greeks and I would have their wife, and they would have sex, and they'd have a baby. But for pleasure, the men would have sex with men, in little saunas. And you look in the animal kingdom, you take away a woman, or sometimes, not necessarily even that, you just have two men, two male animals together, and they will have sex. I mean, my cats, I got two female cats. Saf tried mountain jade in the past. My guinea pigs were both gays. Ah, uh, both gays. My guinea pigs were both males, and they tried fucking each other. You know, and they're idiots. Like, uh, guinea pigs are stupid. But, like, what was it before as well? Like, uh, two penguins, two male penguins, adopted this baby penguin, and they raised it. And they had like some sort of relationship, like a penguin love relationship, which is adorable as fuck. But they did this, and they don't have the brains like we do. But apparently, we haven't. Like, if you look at this twat, they've probably got more fucking common sense than this prick does. And I'm just really frustrated now. And people can say, like, oh, you shouldn't really be making a video about him because it's obviously promoting what he's saying and stuff, and it just feeds a troll or whatever. But. What this twat doesn't understand is the more, like, all this comments he spammed on my video. 
that's made the popularity and the visibility of this video shoot up so more people can see that video and see what I'm talking about and thankfully more people well I hope more people in the world aren't on his wavelength because like what can you classify him as besides an oppressive cunt like what is he because I mean religious people I've always had a problem with anyway especially Catholics but so people like him, anyone like him needs to die. And that may sound harsh or whatever, but like two wrongs don't make a right and blah blah blah. But a little bit of wrong can eradicate fucking evil like that and I think that's justified. You know, because that bullshit that he spouts out constantly is just awful. And I want to thank the people, uh, the subscribers that replied to him and tried defending the cause. It was all in vain, but thank you for trying anyway. And, you know, but whenever someone replied to him, he'd reply like ten times of the same thing again. Gay is a crime not against individual, but against humanity in general. Gay is treason against humanity and God. Gay derived from the devil's agenda. Show me one crime that is immoral and unnatural in the same time, like gay is. Murdering isn't unnatural. Fair point, murdering is quite natural to humans. And unnatural at the same time. Uh, I'm jumping up a line. Gay is on top seven for the worst crimes against humanity. Never mind war and fucking mass murder and stuff. Gays are being used by the devil to reach his goals. Gays destroy humanity. If all of us become gay in 100 years, no more humans. Love doesn't justify crimes. Teaching isn't hating. Again, what? So he's saying, right, if you allow gay marriage, then everyone is going to become gay. Apparently. Immediately that fucking logic is flawed because some people are just downright straight. A lot of people are downright straight, a lot of people are bisexual, a lot of people are gay. Just because you've got a few gay people and you allow them to do something doesn't mean it's go, oh, let's all fuck each other. You know, it doesn't work like that. I don't think this prick understands how human brain works. Well, he isn't going of his own, so probably doesn't, because he listens to God quotes all the time, and that's just bullshit anyway. Because if he followed this thing properly, and if he's got a child, you should take that child to the top of a mountain and sacrifice him in the Lord's name, because that's what happens in the Bible. He should chop off his foreskin and offer it to God, because God loves foreskin. Like, if people actually, like these twats, if they actually read the Bible properly, and followed it to the letter... <laughs> they would be fucking murdered because that shit's illegal. And what I like, I wish this kind of person would either just. It'd be better if they could be enlightened, but that's just impossible because they are so fucking blinded by their faith in their belief system that they can't see common sense. Although, like, his common sense, he says common sense is that like, gays are wrong, so. Like, how, how can you argue with someone like that? I really don't understand. I really, really don't understand how... Like, this shit is fucking... 1240 AC and shit. Like, he's got a really backward opinion. He's got a really flawed logic. He makes no sense. He's, he clearly can't write for shit because his grammar is just awful. And as an author, like you know, oh shit, I'm a gay author. Everyone, really... and he also says some bullshit as well. Like, um, if a gay has lived in your house, you need to move out because the house is full of disease. And if there's a gay in the neighbourhood, then you should move away and cover your child's eyes to avert such evils and stuff. What the fuck? What the absolute fucking nonsense bullshit is that? Like, oh, I live in this house, therefore my mother and my stepfather are gay. <laughs> they're not. Hopefully, because that would be quite weird. But they're not gay. My brothers are not gay. Anyone I've come into contact with, besides gay people, are not gay. It just makes no fucking sense. Like, what is it? Like, gay, how can gay be a disease? Like, you know, it's not a fucking pathogen. If you believe in pathogens, because this prick probably doesn't even believe in evolution. <sighs> Idiots like this just make me sad. 
Like, you look at humanity and you see, like, all these wars and all this murder and child abuse and animal cruelty and stuff, and you just think, humanity is shit. But then you see people like this, and it's even fucking worse, because twats like that are allowed to exist. And it's just sad. It's really sad. Uh, besides the point, um... Uh, one of you messaged me, Mr. Gator, with a link. And in the, in the description, because this petition is still going, if you do support gay marriage, uh, for UK people, there's a link in the description. And for non-UK people, Mr. Gator give me a link where you can vote for that as well. So for non-UK people, like United States and Europe and all, everywhere else, apart from like Africa and Middle East and where that pricks from, click on the other link and you can sign another petition which is for the same cause so it's all good okay it's brilliant and I just want to end this video with some nice comments that this video had because I want to end this on a nicer note because there's too much nastiness going on in this video is fucking long I didn't realize but yeah but um, I'll pop up the comments on the screen it'll be displayed as I'm talking and yeah I'm just gonna read them out as well just so it's like even nice this so I can feel a bit nicer as I'm saying them you know as soon as my computer works anyway. Uh, so a user called Rose Blossoms 0 said, Great video, don't let ignorant people get you down. Whoops. <laughs> they don't get me down, don't get me wrong, but I just find it really sad. Because I'm a strong person, I don't give a fuck about people like that, but I know other people that are weaker. Or people that have just found out that they're gay and stuff, and they're going through all this, like, confusion. And then they get people like that, and just fucking their heads up. It's a bunch of bullshit. A user named Sky6641 replied to Gay is Treason, and, she, and this is... I want to feature this. Are you for real? You name sexual immoralities and state that homosexuality is the worst one. Pedophilia and bestiality are two in that list which are totally wrong. They are sexual acts which allow a person to overcome an innocent for sexual gratification. This video is about equal rights for people and nothing to do with the religion. Yet again, the religious soapbox has been pushed into the conversation for you to stand up upon it and spout out all of your Bible quotes. I would have featured a lot more of the comments that people replied to to this guy, but they're kind of a bit too profane to say, like, so I'm not going to bother doing all of them. But thank you to Sky because it's totally true. I mentioned about 5,000 times in that video this has nothing to do with religious marriage, it's just civil marriage. And yet this little prick jumped out, started spouting out all this John and Titus and Unalaska bullshit. I'm just making up names now because I can't remember any of them. And it's just a lot of nonsense. So thank you Sky because that is really appreciated. How can you compare homosexuality to fucking paedophilia of all things? Like, paedophilia is probably one of the worst things in the world. But apparently that's natural. Or rather. Mr. Gator, the one that sent me the message with the link. I saw a quote today that I thought was ironic. Isn't it interesting that a country founded to allow freedom from religious persecution is now using religion to persecute freedoms? And then she sa uh, he says, obviously, obviously that's about the US, but I thought it kind of pertained. And it does. Um, we, as humanity, for the most part, have surpassed religion. Religion is too old-fashioned to follow, to a T. It's nice to have faith, but stupid to follow the Bible. Don't care what you say, it's stupid to follow the Bible, because you end up like this guy. And now, people, like governments and stuff, use religion to suppress and oppress and be all tyranty to any kind of minority that the Bible or Quran, or wherever the fuck you look at, wherever book it is, they use that to oppress everyone. Yet we've surpassed that, apparently, but it doesn't make sense. Rachel Stoneborn says, I fully support that all citizens should have the same rights as all other citizens without discrimination. In my own country, I'm an avid supporter of our constitutional rights, USA applying equally to all citizens, regardless of race, creed, sexual preferences, gender, age, social, economic status, etc. I wish I could legitimately sign the petition. I sign those in the USA. This is the best video you've done since I've discovered your channel. Important topic. Well, you can sign another petition if you look in the description. As I said, there's a link there to do for non-UK people. And totally, this is, like, Rachel Stonebone, 
has got a like mind like me, there should be no discrimination at all because equality should be a thing. People shouldn't be fucking subjugated because they like dick or because they are black or because they're a woman. It just doesn't make sense. It's just fucking stupid. Comment 5 from user called the man 94133 It's about bloody time the UK model for all modern democracies got with the times and recognized that human love has no gender boundaries and that equal rights for all is the only logical option because it is as in my words so glad I live in Canada where we do have equal rights I can legally marry whoever I want and as a gay man I can adopt children and provide them a decent home if I choose to do so Religion has caused more suffering and death than both world war well, than both world wars combined. So I just want to say fucking praise Canada because I didn't know this until I read this comment. But I looked it up afterwards, and Canada is very equal, and I think that's fucking brilliant. People need to look at Canada instead of slating them all the time because this country has got something going for it in terms of equality. And um, religion has caused more suffering and death than both. Totally. Religion. As I've always said forever, my belief is religion, not faith, religion, as I said before, is the source of everything evil in this world. Take away religion. Take away that control that people have over people's faith. Wars wouldn't happen as much. Because most wars are founded by religion. And differences in that, and discriminations. Then you do get wars like over oil and stuff, but that's just humanity's greed, that's something else. But like the religious stuff, if you took away religion, the world would be so much more peaceful. That's never going to happen though, because you've got people like this. People who can't keep them fucking business out. And then the final comment was on the Facebook video when I post around there, and it's from a person called Kyle. I blocked out all the pictures and stuff for like safety and blah blah blah. But he says, okay, I, it, it's okay, I got you back. I quoted Harry Potter at that bitch. Bitches love Harry Potter. And I'll read out some of the comments he put because it is funny. If I could find his username. Uh, I can't find his username. Never mind. But, um... Yeah, I recommend you jump back to that video. A uh, link will be in the description as well. And this is a video response to that, so you can just click on the thing below my face. And, um... Oh, okay, this is a quote from him. I see, a, I see we're quoting the good old book. To counter the Bible, I call upon Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. At last, Dumbledore straightened up. She's not dead, Argus, he said softly. Also, God did not destroy Sodom and Gomorrah because their inhabitants were homosexual, not at all. Rather, the cities were destroyed because the inhabitants were nasty, depraved, and uncompromisingly greedy. Also, you make me sad to be religious. Perfect. And that's all I want to say for this video. What do you think about this kind of person? For some reason, my thing has gone back to one minute, so I must have gone over 20 minutes. Fuck, this video's long. Common question of the video can be... What do you think about people like gay is treason? They make me sad. They really make me sad. And I will see you... I will be making a vlog next. I'll see you with that sometime soon. I just want to make this video to highlight ignorance in the world, because... As everyone knows, I fucking can't stand that bullshit. But I do love coffee. And I will see you in the next video sometime soon. To this gay is treason person, you're not a subscriber. You didn't even dislike the video, so that makes no sense straight away. So you kind of watched all the video. You must have just seen equal rights and just all fap, troll, 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 troll. Because I said, if you like this, if you support gay marriage, like, and if you don't support gay marriage, dislike, he didn't dislike. Therefore, he has no opinion. <laughs> So the twat didn't even watch the video, I just realised. But anyway, I digress. I'll see you in the next video sometime soon. I hope this prick dies really painfully. And go and check out that video and see his comments, because it's just a fucking bunch of nonsense. I love you, and goodbye.